Hey, what's up everybody, it's Pablo1713. Hi and welcome in Anno1800 Patrol tutorial. So there was a lot of questions about how to set up Patrol and what's the best way to use it. So right now we're gonna cover that. So I got those two ships that are patrolling right now. So I'm gonna delay this Patrol and I will select them once again. Right now they are pinned, but I will explain this later on. So let's select them once again. And all we have to do is to assign Patrol row. And we're doing this by clicking left mouse to select the waypoints and right mouse click will confirm this patrol row. And right now they will start patrolling. And they can move in three different stances, which is all out attack, active defense and passive defense. In all out attack stance, the ship will seek and attack enemy ships until they can, but usually until they can means that until they will sink at least one of enemy ships. In active defense stance, the ship will seek and attack enemies until they will leave the patrol area. And in passive defense stance, the ship will attack enemy ships only when they will be inside his attack range. So you can choose whatever stance you like, but for me the best is active defense because thanks to that those ships will not go too far away from your patrolling crew. But you can also take all out attack and then be sure to get some kills. And okay, so if you got two ships and one of them has some item, and if you will use this item, this ship will no longer be in the patrol. He will get to the last point of his road and then he will disappear from the patrol. So those patrol roads are really fragile. And even if you will right mouse click while having one of these ships selected, this patrol will disappear and there is no way to bring it back. So one thing that you could do is to select that ship and make it escort the patrolling one. But later on you will forget what those ships are doing. So I am dealing with this differently. I use pins for that. So I will select those two ships and pin them to the right side of ships tab. And I will select them to make a patrol. Fleet commencing patrol. And if I will do anything that will take them out from this patrol road, so using this item, I will just click on this pin and thanks to that I will know that those two ships are selected and I will assign new patrol road for them. And I will keep all the ships that are patrolling on the right pins and all the fighting ones to the left pins. Thanks to that I will know what ships are doing what. And those ships can move in two different ways. One is individual and second is grouped. So when you will select individual, if any ship will have better stats like some items that will speed them up, they will try to use maximum speed. So he will not wait for his partner, but he will try to get as fast as he can to the next point. And when he gonna get to this point, he will wait until his patrol partner will join him. And then when he gonna join, they will start moving to the next point. And once again, he will use all the speed that he can to get to his next point. And if you're gonna choose group options, they will move in a group of course, and they will try to keep the small distance between them. Okay, so let's go back to stances and I will show you how those ships are reacting when they meet enemy ships. So in all-out attack stance, the ship will try to get a kill, usually. As you see, there was two ships, but he was focused on one. And if you will destroy this ship, you can right-click on the item and this will not destroy the patrol road. But if you will misclick to the sea or, or anywhere else, this patrol will of course be vanished. Okay, and in active defense, this ship will try to attack him until he will get out from the patrol zone. And in passive defense, he will only attack if this ship is in his shooting range. And if you will kill like two or three pirate ships, they will try to avoid you. So if you will set up this patrol road in a good place, it will result in pirates returning back to their home base instead of attacking your trade ships. Okay, so you probably know that escorting ships that are moving between Old World and New World is almost impossible. Because once those escort ships will get to the edge of the map, they will stop escorting and they will never resume it. So the other way is to use patrol for it. Go to trade roads menu and just check how your trade road looks like and where it ends and go to the new world to check how this trade road looks like as well. 
So in this example, this will be the best place to set the patrol. If you will click on any trading ship, you will see the trade path. Thanks to that you will know where it ends in your map. So just click at the end of the map, set up the patrol road and right click to finish the patrol road. And in my opinion it is better to use individual option than group one because thanks to that you'll be able to cover more distance with those ships. And in this playthrough I already killed the pirates and all the enemies so I don't have to worry about them. But I think that you should use patrol roads because thanks to that your trade ships will be much safer. And if you're gonna set the waypoint of your patrol road at the edge of your map and set the individual moving stance Thanks to that, those ships will wait longer in this point because one of these ships will be faster in this waypoint and he'll wait until the second ship will join him. Alright boys and girls, thanks a lot for watching, I hope that you have some available information in this video. So boys and girls, have a wonderful day and if you're watching this at night, then good night. See you next time.